What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And guys, I want to give a shout out to one of our brothers, Bobby Sonora. He has a new book called Dating Up, The Hypergamy Factor. Check it out in the first comment pinned to the top, guys. He's one of the guys that was writing on the Negro Manosphere. It's going to be a good read. I believe right now for uh, there's a discount on the Kindle price. So let's show our brother some love and check him out on Amazon, all right? Today I want to talk about Derek Jackson. And I know that we have been roasting him. We have been cooking him. And, you know, it's been fun. But I want I want guys to understand that in the black manosphere, there are two different types of guys, okay? <clears throat> and they typically come from two different kind of communities. The guys who are in the States and kind of want to stay in the States have this whole idea about, you know, you need to have some game, knowing how to talk to women and things like that. Then there are other guys, and this tends to be sometimes the travel guys, who believe that, you know, you don't need game uh, as long as you have money, you have status, then game is not important, especially if you're traveling overseas or if you're different dealing with different women. And if you look at Derek Jackson, you know, we always talk about being six foot five, you know, being shaped like an NFL tight end, then you automatically assume that, hey, a guy like this can just show up to get what he wants, okay? And in the reality, in reality, that's true some of the time. But if that's the truth, if Derek Jackson could just show up and get whatever he wants, then he wouldn't be in the situation that he is now. And I think that what, what it proves is for a lot of times, we think that good looking guys have it so easy, but in actuality, they don't, okay? Because number one, Derek Jackson, let's, let's, let's face it, he had to lie to get what he wanted from these ladies. Despite many women finding him attractive, despite women lusting after him, he didn't have enough game to say, hey, listen, I'm married. This ain't going to be nothing more than what it is with me and you. I'm not going to leave my wife. If you want to do what we're going to do, cool. But if not, get to stepping. Okay? If he would have had game, he could have led with that. You know, I'm not saying that's right. Ethically, it's still wrong because you're still cheating on your wife. But he'd be able to do that. And if he felt that his wife wasn't giving him enough sex or something like that, he would have been able to tell her, look, right now we're going to separate. I'm tired of your shit. I'm about to go out here and give me some other booty. If you don't like it, get your ass out. Okay? And then he would have had enough game about himself that the women would like him so much because of who he is. Because it's him. They wouldn't have told on him. And I want to reference uh, my brother Sinful the P because he taught me something interesting. And I said, well, you know, do, do women like you because of the, you know, the pimp culture and things like that? He said, no, they like me because I'm me. I am who I am. So it wouldn't matter if I was the pimping, if I was a mechanic, if I was a McDonald's, as long as a woman likes you for you, that's all that matters. The problem is Derek Jackson wasn't himself. He was a facade. He was pretending to be somebody that he wasn't. He is a liar, right? So if you are a liar, you can't have game. That's called being a con artist. All right. So Derek Jackson, who was a relationship coach, um, is the one person who doesn't understand how to interact with women. This is interesting. A lot of guys are making money on the internet right now. And, you know, dating coaches for men and women. 
you know, and, and, and you see some of these guys getting exposed recently. It's not just Derrick Jackson. But one of the things that you understand about a lot of these guys, they don't know how to interact with opposite sex. They don't. They're trying to tell you how to interact with the opposite sex or trying to tell women how to interact with the opposite sex when they themselves don't know how to interact with the opposite sex. The, 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 the issue is Derek Jackson doesn't know how to talk to women. He doesn't know how to interact with women. He doesn't know how to keep relationships going with women. Okay? He has the slightest idea. He's the kind of guy that maybe he heard somebody say something, so he's regurgitating and saying it, and he can monetize it. Okay, I'm going to make money, which happens in on the YouTube space, of course, right? There are a lot of guys who are doing that because they're good at, um, at YouTube. But the second thing is, Derek Jackson has no game. He's so thirsty, he has to line the women who, in my opinion, would be very much beneath his status, which is also disturbing because if you think about his wife that he made it to Skiggy, um i think she's a good looking woman you guys don't but that's my taste my taste may be different than yours i like her look the women that he was cheating on her with are women if you be honest they're women that i wouldn't date and i don't have nearly the money that he does i'm not in atlanta just a woman like that for the most part, I'm not saying that they were ugly or anything like that, but I wouldn't even hang out with them if if we're being real, okay? Um, that's just me being, per you know, me, me personally. I, I mean, I didn't see anything about them that was so great. And so just I popping that, you know, like they were so bad. Like if they, if, if they look like Beyonce, I could understand a little bit more. I still couldn't understand because you're risking losing all of your money and your wealth and, and, and your business behind um, being a relationship expert and it's exposed that you don't know what you're talking about now. But if you think about it, Derek Jackson, not only did he lie, he lied to women that he shouldn't have to lie to. In my opinion, these ladies were average at best. Okay. Uh, their lives were nowhere near where his is. All right, you know, we're, we're talking about if dating down is, um, <laughs> if dating down is in an example is Derek Jackson. I, I mean, he's not in like Lagos, Nigeria or Kampala, Uganda, or, you know, where like, you know, a lot of folks are poor. You're in Atlanta and you're lying to women who have nothing to lose. You're lying to women that, you know, most likely don't even earn more than $40,000 a year. You know, nobody would check for them. You're, you're lying to women that you shouldn't even really be around. There's there's no way that women like that should be able to access you. It just, you know, and guys that have this kind of money, if they had some understanding about themselves, you wouldn't even talk to them. You would relegate them to being what they should be, which is buying your books and being your customer. But Derek Jackson is so thirsty and the standards are so low that it doesn't matter that he's six foot five. It doesn't matter that he's rich. You understand what matters is, is that he's desperate and he's thirsty. Although women want him, he has no game to really get women that probably are very, very fine. Which is why he's dealing with those sixes or fives. He's dealing with the average at best crowd. And still to even get them, he has to lie to get it. Okay. He's dealing with ladies who are super broke. And, and think about he's living in Atlanta. Atlanta has so many fine black women. Women with great jobs, great careers. You know, he could deal with entertainers, something like that. Somebody that got something to lose. You would think he would do something like that. No. These are regular chicks who probably live in pay pay paycheck to paycheck that he should never even be talking to. But here we go. And the lack of game and understanding of how women work is why Derek Jackson is where he's at. I mean, we'll get into the other antics of the reaction videos to himself, but if you think about it, a lot of black men who get money don't have game. And then it proves guys like Lucario, Steve the Dean, 
Allen Roger Curry, you know, AMS, all these guys, you know, it, it, these guys are being proven right because in this case, it, it, he had everything in his advantage. He has money. He has status. He's, he's tall. Everything. No game. No understanding of how to talk to women, how to do things. Nothing. Nothing. No game. No game. Thirsty. Low standards. And a guy that's six foot five with a lot of money. Which is why you see a lot of black men end up like Derek Jackson. Exposed, divorced, broke, reckless. And that's where we're at, guys. So again, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the comment, first comment pinned to the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. Don't forget the Patreon. I'm out.